Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how I got these gorgeous curls using the Entoy Couture products. This was kind of an experiment because I'm using these flexi rods for the first time. They're very wide and long and I used about 35 of them. I'm starting this hairstyle on freshly washed and conditioned hair and I used the Act 1 and Act 2 by Entwine Couture. And this is the Cleansing and Growth Lathering Hair Bath and the Hydrating Growth cream hair rinse. You're probably thinking this is a blowout and no honey it is not. I simply just blow dry the roots because once we get started styling you're going to see that it took a hard time for the flexi rods to stick to the roots of my hair and I did try this before and I found that the results weren't that stellar so that's why I blow dried my roots before I started and the rest of my hair was just air dried for about three hours. All right, so let me roll up my sleeves and let's get started. The first product that I'm going to apply to my hair is the Exotic Buttercream Hydrator, which soften, moisturizes, and adds shine to the hair. Now I'm going to apply my styling product. This is the Cream Gel Styler and it has a pliable hold and gives great definition. After applying that to my hair, I'm just going to add some water, that's what's in this little spray bottle. And then I'm going to comb through and get ready to apply my Flexi Rod. To apply my flexi rod, I'm just going to roll at the ends of my hair and then roll it up. Once it gets to my scalp, I'm just going to bend it in place and that will secure it. So I'm just going to repeat those same steps. I'm going to apply the cream gel styler to my hair, comb through. And then I'm going to apply the flexi rod. Now I just want to mention, although this flexi rod is a different color, it's the same exact size as the purple one. As you can see, I had a hard time securing this one because it seemed like it wanted to bend out of place. So I just bend the ends for it to kind of stay in shape. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue with the same process. I apply the buttercream hydrator to a larger section of hair and then I split that in two and then I apply the cream gel styler and then apply my flexi rod.
to sleep. Lay me down in your bed of love and I'll... Towards the end, I actually ran out of flexi rods, so I just used perm rods for the um, parts in the back where I use flexi rods. And uh, this is what it looked like at the end. I had to bend some of those away from my face so I could actually see. <laughs> but this is what it looked like. So now it's time for the takedown and I was so happy because these things are really hard to sleep in. I didn't have this much trouble sleeping in them when I used the smaller, skinnier yellow flexi rods. But these things, oh my god, they were so difficult. I wouldn't do this style um, at night <laughs> and let them dry overnight. I would just do them like on a Saturday where I had like the whole day free. Because sleeping in these things were no joke at all. So I was noticing that the ends of, the, of my hair were still wet. And I'm guessing that's because I wrapped it around twice when rolling, rolling them up. So that was the only problem that I had. Other than that, I really did like the definition. So since the ends of my hair were wet, I just wanted to let them dry. So I just pinned the hair back and went about doing some stuff around the house. Let me receive. Yeah. So now I'm going to oil up my fingertips using the Total Perfection Argon Oil and go ahead and separate my hair. So even though I had a hard time with the flexi rods, I was so excited about seeing the final result of this hair. It looked absolutely amazing. So my second day hair was still amazing, which I was happy about because I was going to my mother's birthday dinner. So I was glad my hair was still great. And I didn't do anything to preserve the curls. I didn't sleep on a satin pillowcase or use a bonnet. I simply just went to sleep and as you can see, my curls are still great. So I'm just using my favorite hair tool, my Afro pick to kind of fluff the roots out. And that's basically it. My hair is Still great, and I'm just gonna wear it like this for the day. Looks amazing. Take, take my finger, push the button, going down. Wait. So now I'm starting to feel myself a little bit, but can y'all really blame me? I mean, my hair looked pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so now it's twelfth day here, and again, I did nothing to preserve the curls, which is why I have a really big fluffy patch right here where the curls are non-existent. But I wanted to just go ahead and do another style, so I'm using the creme de la mold on the back portion of my hair because I'm going to push my hair up. Now what I love about this pomade is that it gives your hair a strong hold, but it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy or hard at the end. It still leaves it very soft. So I love this product for that main reason. 
So I'm just gonna brush all of my hair up and I also used water. And I'm just taking this scarf and I'm just going to tie it in a knot. And then I'm going to bring my hair upward while pushing the scarf upward. So now I'm going to tuck the ends of the scarf into itself and then the hair on the side that's just kind of hanging off there, I'm just going to tie that upward so you can't really tell and it looks a little bit more neat and put together. And that's it. Another simple style for your curls once they start to look a bit like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to visit entwinecouture.com for more information on the products. And I'm having a giveaway, so make sure you check the description box for more information. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!